What we are going to learn in this video tutorial is the decimal expansion of rational numbers and irrational numbers. But before talking about that, let's quickly discuss about real numbers. What are real numbers? So real numbers are actually rational numbers plus irrational numbers. Okay, the complete set of rational numbers and irrational numbers makes real numbers and real numbers the set is actually represented by this R, capital R, okay, uppercase letter. Now, real numbers, whether it is uh, a rational number or an irrational number, these numbers can be represented on a number line, both these rational numbers and irrational numbers, okay. That's why this number line is sometimes called real number line because a number line contains both the rational numbers and the irrational numbers and we know that the whole set of rational numbers plus irrational numbers is called real numbers. So if imagine that you have a container in which if you can put all these numbers whether it's a, it's a rational number or an irrational number if you com completely take off all the numbers from this number line and put in this container then this number line will be completely empty, completely empty. This real number line will be completely empty. That's why the number line means that it contains the numbers that are rational numbers or irrational and irrational numbers. Okay, now we know that a rational number can be written in the form P divided by Q, P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q cannot be equal to zero. Q should not be equal to zero. That's a basic thing we have already learned in our previous grade. The next point is, that is the main point that we have to discuss in this uh, tutorial is decimal expansion of rational numbers. So we have a number here, a rational number here, seven by eight. Now, if you divide this number, if you divide this number by eight, that is seven, then you can see here that your remainder is zero your remainder finally becomes zero. And that is why in the quotient, you will see that it's 0 0.875, okay? In the same way, if you take this rational number one by two, and when you divide it, your remainder again becomes zero. And therefore your quotient is 0 0.5. It is 0 0.875, 0.875. It terminates here, 0 0.5. Five. It terminates here. That's why we say that these are examples of terminating decimal expansion. It's uh, an example. These are the two examples of terminating decimal expansions. Okay. But if you take, let's take these two rational numbers, 10 by 3 and 1 by 7. Let's divide this. When you divide this number 10 by 3, then you can see here that every time you are getting the same remainder one 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 again that's why the quotient is repeating first it was three point now after decimal it's three 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 and it will go on like that because every time when you will divide you will get the remainder one so what should we do we can write this as three point three and you place the bar over this three. It tells you that in the decimal digits, this three will keep on repeating. Okay, this is the first point. The second point is that if you notice here, one is only repeating. The digit that is repeating, if we are talking about the remainder, then that is one. The count is here again, one. The count is of repeating digits is one. And this one, is actually less than three. It's the count of digits in remainders that are repeating is actually one. That's why we say that here one is less than three. In this case, when you take one by seven and you divide this one by seven, you can see here, first it was three, remainder was three, then again it was two, then it was six, then it was four, then it was five, and now, it again becomes one. It becomes one. Now, when as it becomes one, your division will again start from here, right? Can you see here? Now you have a remainder one. 
your division will again start from here because again you will put here 0 you will put here 0 and if you take here if you put 1 here again then this will be 7 and this you will get what you will get you will get 3 now it's repeating again that is why we say that there is a string of digits in remainders that is repeating and what's a string a string is this 3 then this 2 then this 6 then this 4 then this 5 then it is 1 and it will again start from then it will again come 3 2 6 4 5 1 and why it is happening in both these two cases your remainder is not becoming 0 it's not becoming 0 in this case also your remainder will never become 0 it will keep on repeating and what's a repeating string 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1. Now, if you count the number of digits here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The count is 6. Clearly, the 6 is less than the divisor of this number, that is 7. And same thing it was here. Okay. So now, if you keep on dividing this, again, you will get here you have uh, 1 then you'll get again again 4 then again 2 then again 8 then again 5 then again 7 and then again it will start from 1 then 4 like that so what you can see here the string in the quotient that is that will repeat every time you divide uh, if you go on dividing this number is 1 4 2 8 5 7 again 1 4 2 8 5 7 then again 1 4 2 8 5 7 that's why we have written it like 0 point 142857 it tells you that this particular string of quotient will keep on repeating 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 and so on okay so what's the point here the point is that such numbers these are examples of non-terminating recurring or repeating decimal expansions non-terminating because the remainder never becomes zero recurring because here the quotient is actually repeating itself so if your number is something like this 3.5727272 then it means that again here it will 727272 and so on it means that this is actually 3.5 and 72 and you place bar over 72 it means that 72 will repeat every time when you divide that's why the decimal expansion of a rational number is either terminating or non-terminating recurring. Moreover, a number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating recurring is rational. Right? So as we have seen here, in all these examples, in these two examples, we can see that our the decimal expansion is actually non-terminating recurring. That's why these are rational numbers. So if you see your decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating recurring that is rational because we have seen in this one like here it's terminating here it's terminating okay now if we move further and if we talk about now irrational numbers the decimal expansion of an irrational number is non-terminating non-recurring as we have seen in the case of uh, rational numbers it was either terminating and if it was not terminating, then it was non-terminating recurring. But irrational numbers will be non-terminating, non-recurring. It will never terminate because it remainder will never become zero and it will keep on re uh, recurring. Like in this case, square root of two. Now, if you try to find out the square root of two, it will be 1.414213562373 and so on and so forth. Clearly, here you cannot see any particular trend in the quotient right you cannot see any particular trend the same case in the case of pi pi is equal to 3.1415926535891 and it will go on like that it's never going to terminate it will the remainder is never, never going to become zero and it will keep on recurring right so it is so it is non recurring it means that its quotient has no particular trend that we can we saw here in this case so, more often than not, we use pi is equal to 22 by 7, but that's not correct actually. That's approximate value. 
So pi is equal to not 22 by 7, but for calculation, for our purpose to solve problems, we use pi is equal to 22 by 7. Some other examples of irrational numbers on the basis of this definition that we have seen here is square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 7, then 0 0.10, 110, 1110, 11110, and like that. So these are the examples of irrational numbers. And the main thing is that the decimal expansion of an irrational number is non-terminating because a remainder never becomes zero and non-recurring because in this question, you cannot see a particular trend as we have seen in the case, as we saw in the case of uh, rational numbers.